Hello everyone and welcome to Railways Explained. Today we will review and analyze a number of chosen catastrophic rail accidents that occurred in Europe during the last 10 years or so. But before continuing, let's define two concepts that frequently appear in this video. The first term is train collision. There are three types of train collisions. Head-on, side and rear-end collision. Collisions are typically caused by human error and according to statistics collisions account for only 5% of all railway accidents, but they account for 80% of total fatalities. Simply put, collisions are much more harmful than any other type of accident. And you'll be convinced by the end of the video. The second term is derailment. How can we envisage a derailment? Simply. Derailment is analogous to a person strolling along the street who suddenly stumbles and falls on the sidewalk. This does not have to be a highly dangerous in all instances, but a derailed train can, for example, collide with another train, item or person, or in the event of a freight train, cause a hazardous substance leak. For example, the recent Norfolk Southern derailment in the United States burned over 100,000 gallons of hazardous chemicals. It killed over 43,000 fish and other animals. And due to loser safety regulations, rail workers believe it could become a trend. The US came to the brink of a massive freight rail strike. Analysts estimated that one week of a strike would have cost the US economy over a billion dollars. So derailments aren't just an issue of human safety they could have massive effects on the supply chain and the global economy, and obviously impacts your finances which have already been affected by the energy crisis and historic inflation rates. It's hard to say if relief is coming anytime soon. Which is why 1810 millionaires and billionaires are investing more outside the stock market and into alternative asset classes like high-value contemporary art. This art from legends like Picasso and Warhol has a low correlation to the stock market, so when the value of stocks falls due to current events, the value of this multi-million dollar art may not. As a result, Masterworks is seeing a surge in demand because they help you get contemporary art into your portfolio for a fraction of the full cost. When Masterworks buys a painting, they break it into shares so you can invest in just a portion of it and see a slice of the potential returns when they sell it again. Each of their exits so far have returned a profit. And in the last year, they paid out over $25 million in returns. While most investments and investors had their worst year since the 2008 financial crisis, Masterworks has nearly 700,000 members on the platform. And demand is growing every day, so offerings have sold out in minutes but our subscribers can skip the waitlist at the link in the description. We chose the 7 most severe and deadly accidents and we will give you a brief overview of what happened, the cause of the accident and the fatalities. Let us get started. The first on the list is Halle railway accident in the Belgian municipality of Halle, that occurred on 15 February 2010. Two passenger trains operated by the National Railway Company of Belgium collided. The combined capacity of the trains was between 250 and 300 people. The first train was a local rush hour train on the leuven brain lacombe railway line. The second train was an intercity train on the kievran liege railway line. This collision happened in snowy conditions during the rush hour on the railway line that runs between Brussels and Kevy, near the French border. The driver of the local rush hour train committed a human error by passing a red signal, a signal designating prohibited traffic without permission, which was found to be the accident's primary cause. One of the reasons we chose to show this accident is that a third train might have been involved which could have made it even more tragic and resulted in more fatalities. In particular, the third train's driver was traveling parallel to the two colliding trains and was coming from Halle. 
Fortunately, he noticed the collision and used emergency braking to stop the train and limit further damage promptly. As the deadliest rail accident in Belgium in over 50 years, this collision resulted in 19 fatalities and 171 injuries. The Saxony-Anhalt train collision was a rail accident that occurred in the German state of Saxony-Anhalt on 29 January 2011. A local passenger and freight train collided on the magdeburg thale railway line, causing this catastrophic event. About 50 people were on the local passenger train, which was drawn by the two diesel engines, and had a gross weight of about 2,700 tons. In extremely foggy weather, a passenger train traveling around 100 km per hour collided head-on with a freight train, moving at about 80 km per hour as they approached the end of a single-track segment. Investigations later revealed that the freight train had likely passed a red signal, which means that the train needed to stop in front of that signal, and the distant signal that came before it, which had forewarned the approaching stop signal. The collision resulted in 10 casualties and roughly 30 injuries. The next accident occurred on 3rd March 2012, when two passenger trains crashed head-on close to the Polish town of Szczekocine. Together, the two trains carried around 350 passengers. The first train was an Interregio train heading south from Warsaw to Krakow, while the second was a northbound train from Szczecin to Warsaw. At the time, Szczekocine railway station's track was undergoing scheduled engineering maintenance. A Polish state railways representative claimed that the southbound train's position on the wrong track caused this tragedy. According to the investigation, five errors were found to have contributed to the accident. A switch failed, so the traffic controller at Starcine used a subsidiary signal to send the southbound train on the incorrect track rather than making the change manually. The traffic controller failed to notice the moving train and told his colleague at Sprova station that the train was moving on the right track. Then the driver of that train obeyed the subsidiary signal even though it was in conflict with other signals. Although the Sprova traffic controller saw the signal indicated the busy track, she assumed the safety system had broken down and allowed the northbound train to proceed. The driver of the northbound vehicle also disregarded conflicting signaling and kept going. According to officials, both train's passengers suffered 58 injuries and 16 casualties due to this accident. Several numbers of the railway crew also died. This accident is usually due to its fatalities, unfortunately well known to wider public. On 24 July 2013, a high-speed Alvia train from Madrid to Ferrol in southwest Spain derailed at high speed on a curve about 4 km outside the station at Santiago de Compostela on a section of conventional track at the end of the Olmedo Zamora Galicia. Witnesses reported that moments before derailing, the train was moving quickly. The data from the railway's black box verified that the train was moving at 179 km per hour when it derailed four seconds later despite emergency braking applied. The train was moving at 195 km per hour, 250 meters before the entrance of the curve. That was over twice the curve's 80 km per hour speed limit. The derailment was recorded on a trackside camera, which shows all 13 train cars derailed and 4 overturned. 140 of the 218 passengers and 4 crew members were hurt and there were 79 casualties. On 14 November 2015, a TGV train derailed while undergoing a commissioning test on a new high-speed line connecting Paris and Strasbourg. The line was supposed to go into regular operation in April 2016. 
The test train was moving eastward on the southern track when it reached a curve at 265 km per hour, 89 km per hour faster than it was permitted. As a result of centrifugal forces, the lead power car's rear bogey derailed to the left outside of the curve. 49 passengers were hurt and 11 individuals died. It was the third derailment since the TGV began operating in commercial service in 1981 and the first deadly in its history. On 9 February 2016 at Bad Abling, a Bavarian city in southeast Germany, two passenger trains operated by the Meridian company collided head-on. There were about 150 passengers on board when the disaster occurred. The incident happened on a curve between the stations of Kolbermoor and Bad Abling Curve Park on the single track Mangfall Valley Railway. Unbelievably, the dispatcher was found to have been playing a game on his phone during the collision. Then, he, believe it or not, dialed the wrong number when attempting to make an emergency call after realizing his mistake which allowed both trains to run on the same track. There were no technical issues with the trains or the signaling system. There were 11 casualties including numerous railway employees. About 85 persons in total sustained injuries. Two months after the collision, a 12th victim passed away from their injuries. A head-on accident happened on 28 February 2023, south of the Tempe Valley in Greece, around midway between the Greek cities of Tempe and Evangelismos when the Intercity 62 passenger and intermodal freight trains collided. The IC 62 passenger train scheduled to leave Athens for Thessaloniki at 7.22 pm arrived a few minutes late at roughly 7.30 pm carrying approximately 350 people. Due to the earlier accident and Paleo Farsalo station, the IC-62 arrived in Larissa late and departed the station at 11 pm, departing on the southbound track. The station master at Larissa, who had only been there a month, ordered the train to go and pass through red signals and instructed the switchman not to realign the switches because a local train would be passing them. The accident segment, located 27.3 km north of Larissa, was double-tracked and equipped with automatic controls, but switching and signaling were still operated manually. The European train control system was supposed to be implemented in 2020. However, it was pushed back until late 2023. Experts are certain that a catastrophic crash would not have occurred if this mechanism had been in place. Due to the darkness at the time of the accident and the lack of time for the train drivers to react, the passenger train was estimated to be traveling at speeds ranging from 140 to 160 km per hour. There were at least 57 casualties and another 80 were injured, with 25 of them critically injured. There were 342 people on the passenger train, 10 aboard railway workers and 2 on the freight train. We hope you found this analysis of the worst train accidents in Europe informative and eye-opening. Railway safety is of the utmost importance and we must continue to learn from past mistakes and work towards preventing tragedies like these from happening in future. If you're passionate about railways and want to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. By purchasing our merch, you'll show your support to our channel and help spread the word about the importance of railway safety to others. We hope you've learned something new today and we can't wait to bring you more exciting railway stories in the future.